<sighs> oh, hey Uma. Good morning. Hey. Yeah, I, I guess it's not too great. I keep thinking about the prophecy. It's the same one Queen Sorelli and Dr. Laura Nora mentioned when I came to find you, but there was something new, or the prophecy continued and they didn't expect it to. On the plus side, I learned about the grotto's history. I have a little bit of a better understanding of what happened before we even got here, plus everything that happened in the year that I missed. It was really intense, but it looks like the dangerous monster they were fighting was Queen Sorelia's brother, Caspian, and he's returned. They don't know how, supposedly he died, but but now we need to help them find out why this is happening and, and how. Right. Our new quest is to visit the site of a destroyed village, Herenafrey. When Caspian created his own brand of dark magic, he went there to test it out. He dried out the entire ocean and turned the sand red. Which, honestly, that's a little unbelievable. Dr. Lornora wants us to go there and see if there's any remnants of his magic. If we can learn what it really is, we might be able to find a way to destroy it for good. Whoa, hold on there. It's super dangerous. We have to prepare ourselves, you know, we have to armor up. Jeez, and I'm the rash one. Let's go see what we can craft and enchant. Okay, so on our last mining expedition, we did get uh, we did get quite a few silence gems. So let's see if we can make any armor out of this. It looks like if I'm gonna wanna make any of this armor, I'm going to need to make some armor frames. I don't know if I have what it takes to supercharge this stuff, but um, maybe we give it a shot. Ooh, no, I probably don't have enough diamonds. Yep, definitely don't have enough diamonds. We are going to start with the regular the regular frames, which means we need a lot of this armor lattice, which is a fluffy fabric. We need some shards and some iron ingots, and we get 24. How much do I need for every piece of armor? 5, 13, 20... Oh, 24, perfect. This will make exactly 24. So we just need four pieces of iron, one fluffy fabric, and some shards. Four of those, do I have fluffy puffs? I don't think I have fluffy puffs. Hmm, no fluffy puff seeds for me. Maybe if we break some grass, we might be able to find some of those seeds. Which of these do I have the most of? Got a lot of garnet and ruby. I'm gonna grab one of those to make some shards. Perfect. Let's go get those seeds. These are all sprouts, no grass here. You are grass. Any fluffy puff seeds? What is that? What is that? Ender lily, ooh. That'll come in handy. Anything over here? A nightshade root, okay. Still no fluffy puff seeds. There might be more grass up here. Let's try the top of this mountain. Oh yeah, there's a lot of grass up here. Anything? Oh, but it's all gonna go down to the bottom! Oh, this might work. Not as well as I thought. There we go. Let's see what that might produce. Let's try over here. See what happens. <gasps> Puffy Puff Seeds! Got them! Perfect. Let's just go see if we got any extras. Okay, so we got our fluffy puff seeds. We got some ender lily seeds, which is interesting. Do I have a plants one yet? Roots? We got nightshade root. We have wolfsbane root. These go in the magic arsenal. So let's put them here. We'll put those, the ender lily seeds there too. That could be kind of magical. We'll make this one flowers. Hmm, I haven't made a hoe yet. Okay. Let's take this, and we're gonna go till some land by our water. Oh, just kidding. I think I made this all grass. Or I think I made this all sand. Well, I'll make a small little mini garden over here. I don't know if this will work, but worth a shot. Okay, we got our fluffy puff seeds. Let's make as many of these as possible.
Okay, we got a bunch. So I think I just needed... Did I make this? Oh, okay, four of those. Fluffy fabric. I believe I only need one. So let's turn the rest of these into seeds. And we'll come back for more. Uma, you having a good time catching fish? Alright, you can have some fun. So we have our iron, our gem shards, and the fluffy puffs paper. Okay, so we have the armor lattice. Do I need four for each piece? It looks like it. Let's do some sort of gradient. Let's do maybe blue to purple to green to yellow. That might look nice. Okay, so what is this one? Moonstone, don't have enough of you. Aquamarine, one, two, three, four. That'll be my helmet. My chest plate can be, you can do maybe agate. My pants will be this green sapphire. And my boots will be Heliodor. Oh wait, it would be reverse. It would look like that. Maybe we should do purple on top. Ooh, yeah, I think I like that better. Ooh, but do we like that best? I can't decide. They're all pretty. We could always make rainbow armor another day. Right, Uma? We have so many gems. We can. We have a lot of gems. We're always going to go and collect some more. So we'll make tons of armor in the future, especially since we still need to supercharge some. Okay, to the crafting. Okay, we got a helmet. We have leggings. We got a chest plate. And we got our boots. Okay, so the helmet will be Morganite. Actually, let's make the helmet our sapphire. Or aquamarine. The chest plate will be our iolite. The pants will be our agate. And the boots will be morganite. <laughs> Mermaid armor coming up. This looks so cute! This is adorable! Alright, now to enchant. So we could make these enchantment tokens, but it might be easier to use our levels and go and enchant. Mostly because if I wanted to put power to the bow, I would need Carnelian, and I'm missing Carnelian. I would also need Eyes of Ender for Infinity, and I'm gonna need Blaze Powder, I'm not looking forward to going to the Nether. And then for protection, we could use Iolite, but we would need a lot of protection and a lot of Iolite, which we also don't have. So let's go up to the enchantment area and see what we can do. So first up, we could do protection two. Protection two. Checked out protection three, protection two. Ooh, no protection two. So maybe we can go and chant something else. We do need a sword. A sword could come in handy and so would a bow. So let's go craft those. I remember the opal bow, or no, I remember that the supercharged alexandrite bow might be one of the best bows. I don't know if we have enough alexandrite though. We would need three, we don't have any. So maybe we'll start with a different bow and we'll build up to that. Let's maybe see what we have. I would love ametrine. Ametrine's pretty, but we don't have enough of that. We have a ton of amber, maybe we can go with that. All right, we'll take three of those. I don't think we need to supercharge it just yet, but I think we do need some tool rods. Some more iron, some more shards, and then I think it's just string. Okay, so we have three string. Okay, like this. Eight of those, we use two, one, two, three, and that. Topaz bow. All right, let's maybe use these two books and see if we can combine them for a better, better power. Do I even have any arrows? I can make like 12. I can make six. I have one arrow. All right, I just need one more piece of flint. One more piece of flint. One more piece of flint. Got it, okay, cool. Do like this. 
We got some more arrows. We have a whopping 13 arrows. Let's put some power on this. And then we also needed to still enchant our boots. So let's put the rest of this on. And let's make a really cool sword. I'd like to make it out of onyx, I think. And an iron tool rod. Beautiful. Okay, so let's maybe enchant power two. We can start with that. Did you get protection two? Yes, you did. Ooh, we also got unbreaking one. Nice. And our onyx sword sharpness two. Ooh, ice aspect. That might be really useful considering we're going to a barren uh, sort of sandscape. I don't even know how to explain it. But maybe it might be helped to have some ice. Let's do that. And let's also see if we can get... Nope, no. Oh, if you use it, you can put it on a tool and the ant farm animals will follow you. Let's not do that. Let's just get a protection two book, put it on anything else, knock back. Oh, I guess it'll help. I don't think I've made an anvil yet. So let's go ahead and put one maybe here. There we go. So we are going to put knockback on our sword. And let's maybe add another level of protection to our chest plate. Protection three. Hmm, I still would like to try and get some sharpness on this sword. So maybe we can make a couple of these. We will still need a ton of flint. So it's some rubies. Let's If we can get sharpness three, we'll need six rubies and 15 flint. And then I also wanted to try and get maybe fortune. Three diamonds and some golden barrel. I don't think I have any golden barrel. I was going to try to make this easier by getting a shovel with fortune, but that might not work. Okay, so we will just work on getting some... I only have, I only have three gravel. Let's go get some flint. <laughs> Here you go, girl. You look a little hungry. Uh, I'm gonna go get some gravel and flint, and I'll be back in, uh, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll try not to get into too much trouble. Okay, we got all of our flint. No, I'm back. How many did I need? Oh, I think I was only aiming for 15. Whoops. Okay, we can aim for sharpness three. We do need some enchantment tokens, which I believe is... Okay, so we need some gold, some lapis, and a chaos essence. And that'll make 12. That's plenty. Um, two of those and six of these. Okay, so we have our rubies... And that, one, two, three. Okay. Sharpness one, sharpness two, sharpness three. Sharpness three, knockback, and ice aspect. Awesome. Hey, I forgot about these. I left these in my backpack. Just a couple of spoils of our adventures. Let's see what's in them. A fearsome glaive with blinding. Ooh. A heavy architect with levitating and leeching. A blazing broadsword and... <gasps> Ooh, a dark crossbow with levitating. Ooh, that is cool. We're gonna have to test those out. In the meantime, let's just leave those there. Um, we don't really know what we're going into when we go to Horana Frey, but hopefully the gear that we have will be enough. We have our entire new armor set. We have our new sword. We have a new bow. Okay, Uma, I think we're ready. In the morning, we set out for Herenifrae.